taking us down the direction of the coaching of people on the defensive uh, staff in particular with Greg Schiano out. And then you got Greg Madison in along with uh, Jeff Halfley. If you can uh, kind of run down to some of these recent moves, uh, new linebackers coach, a number of uh, new coaches along the uh, both sides of the ball. Yeah, the only defensive assistant that seems like he's going to be retained is uh, the defensive line coach, Larry Johnson, who we've talked about ad infinitum for, you know, weeks, months, just great job. The Boses, Tremont Jones, everybody he has uh, coached has turned out to be a great player. And the defensive line was not the sticking point uh, with the defense this year. Uh, Greg Schiano, the defensive coordinator, Bill Davis, uh, the linebackers coach, Alex Grinch, who was the safeties coach and the co-defensive coordinator. Uh, he has gone on to Oklahoma. The other two, Davis and Chiano, obviously both have NFL experience and want to get back to the NFL. Uh, I think that's the polite way of saying they're not coming back to Ohio State this next year and uh, going to pursue NFL uh, opportunities. Taylor Johnson was in his second stint at Ohio State, and uh, he was the cornerback's coach. He's kind of hanging in the wind right now. It'll either be him coming back or, as we're hearing it, Ryan Day will go to the convention this week down in San Antonio, interview a few people, and, and bring back a new assistant coach uh, to help uh, either on defense or special teams alone. I guess we're kind of up in the air on that. But he's bringing in three guys with great track record. Jeff Halfley will be there as the defensive coordinator coming from the San Francisco 49ers. He and Day worked together there. Greg Madison, a veteran coach, nearly 70 years old from the University of Michigan. He'd been in Michigan and coached there for three different head coaches and um, has done a great job up there. You, know, you think about all the great defensive linemen that uh, Michigan has produced on his watch, Rashawn Gary, this year. And then they went back to Michigan again. Al Washington, the linebackers coach, a Columbus native, and he's coming home to Columbus. Uh, he and Day worked together at Boston College. Uh, Madison and Day worked together at Florida. So there is familiarity with all three of those guys. Al Washington, a younger guy, uh, going to be a great recruiter for Ohio State. His uh, emphasis has been on linebackers. Athlete has been in the secondary. Madison uh, probably be a floater, help defensive line and linebackers as well. And it remains to be seen whether they will add a fifth coach on that defensive side or a special teams coach again. But what we're finding here is that Ryan Day is now the head coach. This is his program. He's going to hire his people. He's not keeping Urban Meyer's people out of loyalty or out of duty or anything else. Uh, he looked at that defense, saw it was very much dysfunctional this past year. Uh, you know, again, uh, Grinch was kind of an up and comer. And he was the first one that, uh, you know, he got a great opportunity to go to Oklahoma and call the defense for Lincoln Riley. So that made sense. Um, you thought, well, Shiano helped Day at the beginning of the year uh, reach that transition with uh, the defense and being the head coach. And yet that uh, wasn't enough uh, for him to retain him either. So uh, the linebacker play was substandard. So they're going a new direction. Uh, with guys, uh, Al Washington, he had uh, a Bush from Michigan who was the uh, Big Ten Defensive Player of the Year. Uh, both he and Madison have coached outstanding all Big Ten, all American players uh, over their time. And uh, I think that uh, that's the direction that uh, Day wants to go in. He wants to have a new set of eyes. The defense at Ohio State will be much better, not just because of these coaches. They're going to have eight, nine, or ten returning starters waiting to find out about Damon Arnett and Kendall Sheffield, the two corners. But even if they go, Jeffrey Okuda and Sean Wade are ready to step in. Jordan Fuller is already coming back. Um, the, you know, basically everybody but Draymond Jones should be back. And a year older, smarter, wiser, faster, stronger, they're going to be better, uh, particularly with new set of eyes. Uh, calling the uh, scheme, putting the guys in the right position. And I think that it is going to be uh, – the defense could actually get back to being a catalyst for this program uh, beginning in 2019. Yeah, Sheffield seemed to struggle early in his career, but uh, finished strong down the stretch. I had a yeah, nice I season. He, I thought, Mark, I thought he actually had a pretty good year in 2018. Arnett 
to me, just seemed there were either yellow flags or big plays in his wake seemed too often this year. And so it, athletically, he's going to go to the combine and be, you know, up here among guys who test out speed wise, agility, et cetera. It's just making plays on the football, uh, getting stops. I mean, <laughs> too many times they got a fresh set of downs or a touchdown and uh, one or the other of those guys, probably less Sheffield, more Arnett, were at, at fault. But uh, within their rights, certainly uh, three years in, they have the right uh, to take to make that move. Yeah, I thought uh, Sheffield and Okuda had uh, strong Rose Bowl performances Definitely. as well. So the Maize and Blue famously stealing Ohio players uh, back in the 80s and 90s, bringing them to Ann Arbor. But uh, here in 2018, uh, the Buckeyes dipping into the uh, University of Michigan pool of coaches to grab a few uh, for here in Columbus this fall. Steve Hellwagon uh, from 247 Sports. Uh, you got to join him right there for the best in Ohio State football coverage at bucknuts.com. Uh, Mark Rogers TV, of course, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel for college football nonstop. Steve, we always appreciate the time. All right, Mark, take care.